everyone. My name is Raymond Yip, and welcome to P-Ray's Corner. In these videos, I hope to share a little bit of my understanding into God's heart and his calling for us as followers of Jesus, and translate that into the daily Christian walk. Today is Worship Wednesday, and I wanted to address a simple question. Is the raising of hands allowed or proper in a worship context? There's a simple answer to that, but before I address that, one thing that we need to do is cast out any misconceptions or misunderstanding. First and foremost, the church does not expect you to raise your hands during worship. It is not uh, a requirement of, of your participation, and at the same time, you shouldn't have to worry about what the people around you are doing, whether this person is raising their hands or how they think of you if you are to raise your hands. Let's put all those aside. now. Let's look at some of these verses here and see what Scripture says about the raising of hands. Some quick examples. Psalm 141, verse 2. Let my prayer be counted as incense before you, the lifting up of my hands as the evening sacrifice. And then also in Psalm 28, verse 2. Hear the voice of my pleas for mercy when I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands toward your most holy sanctuary. And then also in Psalm 119, verse 48, I lift up my hands toward your commandments, which I love, and I will meditate on your statutes. What these three verses reveal is that it is not an expectation or a requirement, but it is truly a response, a response to who God is, our response to his mercy and his power and his holiness. Uh, and so it really reveals what I call the orientation of the heart. And then if we look at 1 Kings chapter 8, verse 22, Then Solomon stood before the altar of the Lord in the presence of all the assembly of Israel and spread out his hands toward heaven. Again, it is revealing his desire to want to raise up his hands before the Lord, not as, as a requirement or anything that God expects of him. And then if we look at 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 8, this is the Apostle Paul writing to his disciple Timothy, I desire then that in every place the men should pray, lifting holy hands without anger or quarreling. It's speaking to the heart's desire to want to connect with the Lord and our response just uh, moves our hands to to this elevated position of exalting the Lord ultimately a response to who God is and it's as simple as that it's our heart's orientation towards God in submission in reverence to who he is and at the same time it is a response to how great God is to us so let's pray. First and foremost, our heart's orientation is correctly aligned with who God is. Our heart is directed towards God as the Lord in our lives, as the Savior in our lives. And then our response to God is in awe and reverence. And the natural response would just be the raising up of hands. Thank you.